welcome back to 2C Vids. Today, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you how to put in a press the barrel into the trunnion. This kit that I got specifically is from Arms of America, so it's all brand new. Um, every, one, every other one that I've done has been used, I guess, but this is the Virgin kit. Um, but just kinda of wanted to give you a quick heads up on this, just the kind of tools that you'll need for it. So obviously, here's your trunnion. This is a Virgin trunnion. You can tell there's no hole where the barrel pin would go. It's spinning around here and they kind of started it for you about right there. So you'll notice down in here, I went ahead and just pre-greased it. And this is the kind of grease that I use. This is nothing special. I've had this tube of grease for years. It lasts a long time. So I greased the inside of that. And then I went and grabbed the barrel and where I'm gonna press it in, grease that up as well. Now what you'll notice is I have four marks on here. There's an arrow there, there's an arrow here, there, and then there. What I did is I lined that up with the top of the trunnion. You can kind of see those lines. So that way when I go to press it, I know that it's pretty much good to go and it's not going to be canned when I put it back in. So what you're going to need today, if you don't already have it, is a barrel press kit right here. Comes with all that stuff. Uh, this is super handy as well when you go to press it back out without it, with, when it doesn't have a receiver on it. And this is one of your most important pieces. Your trunnion is going to fit on this about like this. And what you'll do then, obviously, so I don't have it all the way, then you're just going to take the barrel and then press it down into there. But what I did to get make sure that my barrel was straight when I press it in, because it's already got the, the marks, I put uh, this piece on here, I put that on, laid it down, and just kind of eyeballed it um, with the ears of the trunnion, I guess you could say, up here. Um, once I put that into there, I looked down just to make sure that the barrel, um, you can see the gap once you put that down here. But there's going to be a small gap, so right under there it's kind of hard to see. But that's what I use to kind of level it up and go with. Just want to go over something real quick. That's why I put the handguard retaining clip on right here. I put that in, locked it down, and then you can come back here and look. And it should line up pretty much dead even with what you got. So, camera is just slightly jiggly. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about right there. Looks like it lines up pretty good, so we'll roll with that. Right before we get started, I just want to go over this real quick. At the very beginning, so I'm doing this in my garage, so the garage is naturally pitched to drain outwards. Uh, that's the water in case you know you were to get your car to leak uh, water from the snow or whatever. Um, so when you do that, you kind of want to have this area right here as level as possible. Uh, as you can see right now, it's not bad, right? So going across 90, and of course flicking it this way to the other 90, the above shot. We're pretty darn close. Um, without it, as you can see right here, I'll just put it down on here. You can kind of see that it's already it's already way out. So what I did to correct that is I just took some uh, 26 cents each side, so 52 cents, put it down, and I basically leveled it out. So that way you're not already starting off half cocked because when you go to press with the press right here, your barrel is obviously going to be right here in between. And it's it's gonna wanna it's gonna wanna tweak one way or the other, and you have run the risk of, of bending your barrel. So try to start off as level as possible. Okay, guys, just a couple things I want to go over. You can see up here, I got this blue tape. What I have up here in between the the barrel and the press is a penny that's just taped. And the reason I put some tape on it is because you, I always put a penny in there so it doesn't damage the barrel. I don't have any threads on here yet, but I will eventually. But all that's gonna do is just provide a buffer in between the two. Um, and I just taped it because the penny always flies off and, and such. So, um, and then you move on down. <clears throat> and you can see kind of right where my marks were, what I was talking about. So now I, I know that I've already pre-checked it. So it's going to make it a lot easier on me when I go to press it. I know it's going to be done right. Okay, so as you can see, I got it lined back up. I got everything down here. It's a little hard to see with the lighting. I apologize. But I'm going to go ahead and you can see where my penny is right here. And the tape that's holding up pretty well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep pressing and then this will probably be about the only time you ever see me kind of doing this just because I don't want to bore you to death. And you'll hear it. Like that, a pop, they call that a popcorn. Sometimes that means you're a little too thick on the barrel journaling. Um, so you might have to sand it out, but I'm going to try it without doing that first. So then I usually stop and then recheck as I can. Okay guys, hey, just wanted to throw this up here. Yep, so I went too far. Uh, what what happened in, um, right before I quit the last time, it made a pop, like that popcorning sound we talked about. 
um, and then I gave it a little bit more pressure and it did it once again. But in between those two times, I checked it and the, it was still not within uh, headspace. So now what I'm going to have to do is lightly, ever so slightly, push it back. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, right here, can, this is the go gauge. Okay. Now, as you can see, I got it flipped. It won't even turn. So that means I went too far. So um, I'm going to have to push it back this way and um, I'll show you how to do that here. Just all right, you can see this is all you need. This is the tool. It comes with the AK Builder um, barrel press kit, barrel press kit, and it just comes apart like that and you lay it on top of the press. And since I already put the handguard holder on, I'm going to come up through, I'm just gonna give it one of those numbers right there. And then I'm going to take this piece, which also comes in that same kit, and I'll try to do a close-up. I, I built a few AKs, so um, this thing's a little charred up, but uh, you can see how it just fits in there. Uh, there's a little lip in there that, that matches the barrel. So that's all you got to do is just push that in there. So uh, what I like to do is I just come in here, put it in there. And of course, my press is way too up. It's not up high enough, as always. There we go. Okay. Just a little bit from there. Okay. So put that back in there. Line the line the uh, stuff up. I'll bring this back just a hair. What I'm going to do is just have it seat right in there. And this is always tricky. thing that sucks now I've had these popcorn before um, to the point where it was right in between the go and the no-go and I was doing this constantly back and forth between the two so don't be surprised if you run into that um, some of them you just don't every one of them is different so it doesn't really there's never uh, the absolute best answer maybe best practices but that's about it so I'm gonna come in here I got that a little bit too loose tight rather there we go so now it's sitting nice and flat Come in here. I'm just gonna slightly bring it down because I know I went too far. Now it might just pop and go way out, but I'll check it. I'm gonna go very slow. Sometimes it just gives, and there's not much you can do about it. I'm going slow. Right there, some pressure. I'm just gonna stop there and just see if it. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some sandpaper here. I'm gonna use some 120. And I have a little bit better. I think I have up to 300. So all I'm going to do is just kind of go around and around like that. Um, so I'll give that a shot. That'll probably take me a little bit. But uh, just taking that little bit off goes a long way. Okay, I think I got it to where we need it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put in the no-go gauge right here. As you can see, it's only going so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on the go gauge. Now I'm going to watch me turn it. See, it's, this locking lug hits the side of the trunnion right here, so it's good. And just to verify, I did bring a round out just in case. But I put the round in there and it seemed that everything was okay. So essentially this thing is ready to go, it's head spaced. Now what we have to do is drill. You can see the starter hole they left here. So you'll drill that. Obviously I use a quarter mil end bit. Then I use a seven millimeter reamer. Go down through all the way and then put the pin in. And what you'll have to do obviously is pop the barrel back out to get your receiver on to do the rivets. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it.